identifying the warning signs of blood clots could save your life. Picture this, they can strike without warning, and knowing the signs can mean the difference between life and death. It's crucial to understand what blood clots are. Our bodies are equipped to form blood clots to stop bleeding when we get injured. However, these clots can sometimes form inside our veins and arteries without a clear reason, leading to potentially dangerous situations. These abnormal clots are known as thrombosis. Did you know that our bodies are so smart that they can actually dissolve small clots on their own thanks to a special enzyme called plasmin? Most commonly, blood clots occur in the deep veins of your legs or pelvis, a condition known as deep vein thrombosis DVT. If a clot decides to embark on a journey and gets stuck in a smaller vessel, it can cause some serious health complications. This condition is known as an embolism. What makes blood clots so worrisome is their ability to develop with minimal or no symptoms, making them a silent threat. This silent nature can lead to significant problems if left unchecked. Therefore, it's essential to be aware of the warning signs. Swelling One of the most common signs of a blood clot is swelling in the affected area. For DVT, this often means one puffy leg. The swelling can be quite dramatic and appear suddenly, bringing along pain and redness for the ride. Swelling occurs because a blood clot interferes with the normal flow of blood in your veins. When a clot forms, it can obstruct the blood vessels, causing blood to back up and pool in that area. This stagnant blood results in swelling, making the affected area feel tight and swollen. Pain and tenderness Imagine a deep, persistent ache in the leg, like a cramp that just won't quit. This is another classic sign. The pain can range in intensity and tends to be more noticeable when you decide to stand or take a stroll. It's important to note that the pain experienced due to a blood clot can be different from typical muscle soreness or cramps. It's often deeper and persistent. The tenderness is another critical component. If you gently touch or press the area, you'll likely feel discomfort or pain. This can be a key indicator that something isn't right in your circulatory system. Did you know that the word thrombosis actually comes from the Greek word thrombos, which means clot? Warmth and redness The skin over the clot can turn into a mini heater, becoming warm. Alongside warmth, redness of the skin can occur. This is due to the increased blood flow and inflammation in the area. The blood vessels expand and the skin becomes flushed. This visible change in skin color can serve as a clear indicator that something isn't right. Unexplained shortness of breath If a blood clot goes on an adventure to your lungs and causes a pulmonary embolism, you might suddenly find yourself out of breath, experiencing chest pain and even coughing up a little blood. This is a medical emergency. Did you know that the human circulatory system is a complex network of about 60,000 miles of blood vessels? That's long enough to go around the earth more than twice. Chest pain It's essential to know that chest pain caused by a blood clot is not like the dull, achy discomfort you might associate with muscle soreness or heartburn. It's distinct and can be quite alarming. Chest pain associated with a blood clot is often sharp and intense. It may feel like a stabbing or piercing sensation, and it tends to worsen when you try to take deep breaths or move. This pain can be localized, typically on one side of the chest. Coughing blood If you notice blood when you cough, it could be a sign of a pulmonary embolism. This is no time for jokes, you need to seek immediate medical attention. Increased heart rate An increased heart rate, medically known as tachycardia, can occur when a blood clot interferes with the normal flow of blood in your veins. As the clot obstructs the vessel, it forces your heart to work harder to maintain adequate blood circulation. This increased workload can lead to a noticeable acceleration of your heart rate. It's important to note that the heart rate increase may not always be extreme, but it can be persistent and unexplained. You might find yourself feeling as if your heart is racing even when you're not engaged in any physically strenuous activities. Fever In some cases, a blood clot can lead to a low-grade fever. Well, this is a less common sign, it's essential to be aware of it. Blood clots can affect anyone, but it's true that some individuals have a higher risk, including those with a family history of blood clots. Some risk factors include Age The risk of blood clots increases with age. Family history If you have a family history of blood clots, you may be genetically predisposed. 
Pregnancy Pregnant women are at a higher risk because pregnancy can play some tricky games with blood flow. Inactivity Sitting for extended periods, like during long flights or bed rest, can increase the risk. Obesity Excess weight can contribute to clot formation. Smoking Smoking damages blood vessels and can promote blood clot formation. Certain medical conditions Conditions like cancer, heart disease, and diabetes can increase the risk. Medications Some medications, including birth control pills and hormone replacement therapy, can increase the likelihood of clot formation. Fun fact Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of the United States, was the first person to describe the symptoms of deep vein thrombosis DVT, in 1785. Knowing the warning signs and risk factors is great, but what about prevention? Staying active and maintaining a healthy lifestyle not only helps prevent blood clots, but also has a myriad of other health benefits. Stay active. Physical activity promotes good blood circulation, which is essential in preventing blood clots. When you're active, your muscles contract, squeezing the veins and helping to push blood back to your heart. This constant movement discourages the stagnant blood that can lead to clot formation. In addition to enhancing circulation, exercise helps maintain a healthy weight. Obesity is a known risk factor for blood clots, and staying active can help you shed excess pounds and keep them off. Stay hydrated. Proper hydration helps maintain an adequate blood volume, which is essential for preventing blood clots. When you're well hydrated, your blood flows freely, carrying nutrients and oxygen to your cells and carrying waste products away. This balanced flow discourages clot formation. It's recommended that adults aim to drink at least 8 to 10 cups of water per day, but individual needs can vary based on factors like climate, activity level, and overall health. Stop smoking. Smoking is a major risk factor for blood clots because it damages your blood vessels and makes your blood more likely to clot. The chemicals in tobacco smoke can injure the cells that line your blood vessels, promoting inflammation and clot formation. The benefits of quitting smoking go beyond just preventing blood clots. It also reduces the risk of heart disease, stroke, and various types of cancer. Medication If you have a medical condition that increases your risk, consult your doctor about blood thinning medications. If you suspect you have a blood clot or are at risk, it's vital to seek medical attention. Your healthcare provider can diagnose a clot through various tests, such as ultrasound and blood tests. Ultrasound technology has come a long way, and it's now a common and painless way to detect blood clots. It uses sound waves to create images of the clot, no radiation involved. The good news is that blood clots are treatable. Treatment often involves blood thinning medications to prevent the clot from getting bigger or traveling to other parts of the body. In some cases, surgical procedures may be necessary to remove the clot. Blood clots are a serious health concern that can be quite stealthy. Knowing the warning signs and understanding your risk factors is crucial. Prevention is your best ally, so make these healthy choices with your lifestyle. Your blood is your body's river of life, carrying about 2,000 to 6,000 red blood cells per microliter. That's a lot of little travelers in your veins. If you are passionate about health, hit the like button and subscribe for more information to live your best life full of health and vitality.